blockchain and crypto could possibly change the world and usher in a new financial system. With me to talk more about this is Rick Willard, the founder and managing director of Agentic Group and executive director for the World Ethical Data Foundation. So Rick, great to see you. And uh, let's start with Agentic Group. Explain to me what that group is all about. It is a consortium of companies around the world that both consults and develops in the blockchain space uh, and, and other sorts of, of um, clients like Jeremy Rifkin's TIR group. Mm -hmm. So as executive director of uh, the, world, um, the World Ethical Data Foundation, I mean, what are you doing? How are you watching this? Because I know data is such a big concern now. I mean, we're just going to have so many uh, terabytes of data collected on people. I mean, what are your concerns with that? Right, so just to clarify, I'm the executive director of the WEDF Americas, so okay. from Canada to Brazil. But that being said, it's a perfect question, um, especially in light of investment opportunities. I mean, we are in a space right now where a lot of what we did in the early internet, and I'm as guilty as anyone, of this having been around in the early internet, uh, the way that we financed everything that you see now is essentially through corporate sponsorship or corporate clients. So the way you sold it was based on old advertising models of cost per thousand or sponsorship or what, it, or what have you, models that we knew. There were no inherently digital models at that time. We, we took from what we had. So now that we're understanding native digital life, and we have even millennials who are growing up natively digital, we're getting new ideas and new concepts about what value means. And our privacy is, is of paramount value, of course, uh, which leads us to blockchain and tokenization. You know, Bitcoin is like a Model T Ford uh, to what comes next, mm -hmm. right? So whether Bitcoin lives or dies, quite frankly, in my book, doesn't matter because it's just the beginning. Yeah. Uh, Ethereum proves other concepts, uh, platforms like Polkadot, prove other concepts. And that's where we get into investment theses and philosophy in investing. Uh, so what we'll see, and I think it's important to your audience, is investors taking a close look at where their own personal philosophy lies and looking at tokens that manifest that philosophy. So there are groups like Moeda uh, in Brazil who are financing female farmers. Uh, there are other tokens that have specific use cases, which adds measurability to impact investing. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, that's a whole new paradigm for finance is actually being able to, you know, invest in something that we believe in with a token. And, and I love that it's so democratic. You don't need, you know, a hundred thousand dollars or a million dollars or whatever to be able to have a financial stake in this. So, I mean, what's your philosophy about where we're going with that? Well, I mean, the big challenge is um, when you democratize something, it's just like we've talked about democracy since the beginning, since the founding fathers. Uh, which is democracy takes constant vigilance. So being uh, self-educated, being educated on what's happening in the space is critical for investors. It's absolutely critical. Uh, if, if you want to go the route of an ETF or you know, some kind of fund that's basketing currencies, that's fine. Do that. You can ride the Bitcoin wave and it doesn't really touch you. But where the real gains are going to happen and how the world changes is philosophy-based investing in this token economy. What do you find most encouraging about the blockchain sector? The thinking that's coming out of this space is highly encouraging. As a matter of fact, it's, it's just off the charts. Don't try to crush the idea of capital, but try mm. to extend the idea of capital mm. and extend the idea of value and value investing. It's the people that are coming into this space that have me the most excited. I meet just amazing people like yourself, but also people who are who are doing things that couldn't even be imagined five years ago, much less a decade ago. Thank you so much, Rick. Great to see you again. Let's uh, let's uh, catch up when we have more time. We can talk more in depth about this. It's really interesting stuff.